A new place, a new home For a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back Take my time, just enjoy the ride I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day because I found my way. Dun, dun, dun. I think it's time for an apartment tour. I've lived here for six months and you guys have been requesting it. I have been selfishly waiting for all of my furniture to be delivered that I ordered six months ago and we're almost there. I still do not have my coffee table, but that's coming in August. I don't think we should wait any longer. Let me finally take you through my apartment and kind of tell you where everything is from. And if I suggest it, because there's some pieces that I don't recommend. Okay, I don't want to ramble. Let's just, let's just hop in. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Welcome to my entryway, Riot. It's okay, nobody's here. I feel like you don't really see this area that much. And I have like a couple of cute things I want to show. So this is the front door and this is an electrical box that is just hideous and I don't know what to do with it. First thing I have that has made my life a lot better is this little entryway cabinet that I keep all mine and my daughter's shoes in. That way they're just out of sight and it keeps this area really clean. I don't keep anything in it other than shoes and then on top I just have this little marble slab from home goods the candle and a crystal and a naked woman i did finally get some art up i have one piece in here it is from the melrose trading post there's an artist there and he sells really cool prints and also like one of kind pieces that are really expensive so i got a print and then i got a frame off amazon i like supporting smaller artists i find it hard to find them because they're smaller. So if you know of any, let me know. And then I just have this plant from Home Goods. That is actually everything in my entryway. So let's keep moving. Welcome to the nursery. I feel like, again, this is a viewpoint you see a lot. And I am just so proud of this little sticker wall I did. They're wall decals from Etsy. I'll link them down below. And I, I did it myself. And I feel like it looks like pretty okay. <laughs> I actually don't have all of the artwork up in her room yet. Like I just got Arrow this. This is from PB Kids and you can get your child's name. I think they have different colorways but I just thought this one was really cute. Still need to hang this up but I do have this rainbow wall decal up also from Etsy. I think it is a different seller. Uh, it was also really easy to put up and I think really cute. The only other artwork I have hung up is this. Today I'm feeling happy, surprise, angry, calm. It kind of just gives a range of emotions, which I wanted to definitely have my toddler learn. I have since found that you can buy it on Etsy for much cheaper, so I wouldn't <laughs> recommend buying it from PB Kids. For the furniture pieces in here, I always get asked about the toddler bed and it was originally her crib. It just had an additional piece you could buy to convert it on to a toddler bed, which is what I did. It was a West Elm and PB Kids collab. I actually don't know if they sell it anymore, but I did also buy the matching dresser. These are like all original items from the nursery. So I wanted to get pieces that could transition with age and weren't like overly youthful like i feel like this could eat not the crib but i feel like the dresser could be in a teenager's room on top i just have a framed drawn picture of us and then i have these pineapple bookends from home goods with some books in between of course and then our hatch nightlight which i have a love hate relationship with it keeps like turning different colors and sounds throughout the night and waking my daughter up. Then for toy storage, I found this piece on Amazon and I love it because you can mount it to the wall. This is what it looks like right now. <laughs> like I've showed it a lot when it looks really put together, but this is a week of play. So it's kind of a mishmash of stuff, but 
yeah, it holds everything really well. I don't have a lot of storage in here. And so this is a piece I would highly recommend. I believe it does come in other colors too. And then the newest item I got for Arrow's second birthday to go with the kitchen set, so it's also from Coco Village, is this little beauty barber set. So you can get like the barber collection or like the, the kids makeup and beauty items. Comes with a little stool. It is so cute. <laughs> like honestly, I want this vanity. In the corner of the room, I have our rocker that I used all the time when I was breastfeeding or in the newborn stage. I do not use it that much anymore, but it goes really well in the space and it's really heavy. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to gift it away or resell it or something because it's just not getting any use in our home anymore. I'm thinking if I do swap it out, I'll probably do like a little teepee over there or something. I'm open to suggestions, but the rocker or glider is from Amazon as well. I don't know if they sell it anymore, but I loved it. Some additional stuff I have on the floor for the toddler room is again a washable rug, but this one is from New Loom. You can get it off Amazon and it works just as well as the ruggable ones and I liked this print for her room the best. I have her ball pit, which she got for her first birthday. That is from Amazon. That has been through some stuff, but she is still in love with it, so I do recommend that item. And then also from Coco Village, I have the toddler climber. And then I just have this little poof from Urban Outfitters. It was actually accidentally sent to me from Urban Outfitters. And so, uh, yeah, I think it kind of goes in the room. That is pretty much it for the nursery. There is a bathroom in her room. And again, like I think I keep saying, there's not a lot of storage in my apartment. So I've kind of just started using it for storage and do bath time in my bathroom. So I can take you in there, but it's a hot mess. I'll, I'll just show you. Yeah, it's pretty, oh, okay, now it looks messy, see? I wasn't lying. I have like a bath mat drying. I have like trash I need to take down. It's actually on top of a laundry bin, so I keep laundry in here. And then probably the only thing that's gonna look good is over here. The audio is gonna be really, really bad in here because there's a fan, but I just have these acrylic shelves from Amazon and I have like back stock of beauty products and like baby shampoo and conditioner and random stuff. It actually doesn't look so good and organized, but real life, this is what it what it normally <laughs> looks like. But I wanted to show you more of the kitchen from this viewpoint. It came with no kitchen island, so that is something I had to order. And I did get it from CB2, and it took forever to be delivered. And my review of it is I, it looks really good, it's perfect for the space, but it stains very easily. The countertop is just very porous, and so I ate Indian food last night and a little bit got on it, and now it will be there forever. On the other hand, my stools from CB2, which were actually from my old apartment, they have them in counter stools and bar stools, and they come in this mustard color, which I love, and then I believe a black color. But I have the ones that are higher, so if you have a kitchen island, measure it, but it should fit an island if you want it for like a dining room table. They do have a version for that, and I would highly recommend these. I know with the type of fabric, it's not the immediate choice if you have a toddler, but I haven't had any issues with staining. They still look really good. My fruit bowl is also from CB2, and it's not meant to be a fruit bowl. It does kind of stain because, yeah, it's not. It's not meant for what I'm using it for, but I really like the look of it. If you want to use it just for a decor item, I would recommend that. My coasters, I believe, are also from CB2, but I got them on a sale, so I don't know if they sell them anymore. Then, right back here, we have my coffee machine. It is the Nespresso, and I did buy the little pod container to go on the bottom. I've also had that over a year. I love that. My pots and pans are from Our Place, and it's I think it's called the Always Pan and the Always Pot. I love them, I love the colors. I know a lot of people said that they had issues with them. I haven't had any issues. That rust pink color is just so I cute. I did get some pompous grass in that same colorway. It's that like rust pink color that's very so trendy right now, but I, I just really like it. 
and that is from CB2 and then the little vase I have it in is also from CB2. Wow, a lot of stuff is from CB2. And one of my favorite toddler Amazon buys is this toddler stool. It is pretty like heavyweight, so it's not super easy for her to move around. It's not easy for her to tip over in, but again, you need to have supervision when your toddler is using it, but it can be great to have them get on your level. My spoon holder is from Urban Outfitters Home, and my little over the sink thing that I've used, I, I use this every single day, it's from Amazon. On the other side of my apartment, you are going to see the most comfortable couch in the entire world. It is a dupe of the Restoration Hardware Cloud Couch, which is no joke, like $10,000. And this is a, I think it was like a $1,200 version. It is, you buy it piece by piece so you can have it be smaller or bigger if you want. So the price can vary. And it comes in this gray color and a navy color. It is the comfiest couch ever. And I would 100% recommend it from Bob's Discount Furniture. Now my little makeshift coffee table cushion actually is nice because it doesn't have any sharp edges for a toddler to hit on and it has some storage, but it just gets very dirty with the material it is and it's not like the biggest size. And so that is something I'm gonna change. It is a home goods find, so I can't really link it. The little circular tray on top is just kind of, so I actually have like a hard place to set drinks or food if I'm eating there. And that is from West. Now on the other side of the room, I did mount my TV and I hid the wires just for extra toddler proofing. And underneath it is a chest of drawers that I've had for probably six years and I got off Craigslist, but I believe it is from Z Gallery. For toddler stuff that I keep in the living room, we have our nugget, which is also kind of in that like dusty rose color and I think the shade is called Sweet Pea and the nugget is great because you can kind of store it to the side and bring it out whenever you want. I also have her mini kitchen, which I got for her second birthday. I got it from Coco Village and I got it in the seafoam color, but they also have a peach color, which is really cute. If you have a smaller space or you just want a smaller version, they do have like smaller sets of it, like without the washer dryer or with or without the fridge. So you can kind of play around with sizes too if you want like a kitchen, but not like a big one because it does take up a lot of space in here. For my doggy, I have actually <laughs> my daughter's old diaper changing mat from Gather. I use it as a doggy mat and then her bowls are from Wild One. Again, kind of in those same dusty rose color hues. Really like that. And then I just have the Stoke Trip Trap high chair which will eventually be a toddler seat. I think that is everything for the kitchen living room area. If I missed anything, oh, the rugs. The rugs are from Ruggable. Highly suggest them if you have dogs or kids. Um, mine is super messy right now because I it, it needs to be washed, but they're great because they're washable rugs. I have that in the living room and in the kitchen. Welcome to my bedroom. Probably gonna be the most difficult room to film. Uh, it's really minimalistic. I do have some new pieces from my last apartment tour, so I'll make sure I show you those. But I did take the smaller room in my two bedroom and gave my daughter the bigger room just because she's gonna play in it. And I really just sleep in my room. Like I, I don't even have a TV in here. Here is half of my bedroom. It is pretty much just a bed. I have a king bed for me just because why not? My Frame is from West Elm and I really like it because down below ugh, You probably can't tell what I'm doing right now, but there's ugh, Storage, it's really stuff though. I keep my extra sheets down here because I rotate Them between Brooklyn and, and Amazon and then I have this new weighted blanket from Nuzzy and I If you have anxiety or like you sleep alone and you don't want to get a weighted blanket. They're really nice and then a bunch of pillows, side table. I do have matching side tables on the other side and this is a newer item that I had to wait for forever from CB2. CB2, why you do me dirty? I just really liked 
the look of these nightstands and I like that they were rounded for a toddler so there's I mean there's some kind of edges but it was like the roundest I could find while still having storage because I knew I needed storage. Again, very minimalistic up top. I just have a candle and a coaster on one side and then on the other nightstand I have like a diffuser and also a coaster. See, on this side, I told you, there's also a nightstand and then I have dog stairs because my dog is, oh my God, is she 11? She's, she has some hip things going on and so I want her to walk off and on the bed. Yeah, there's no, there's no artwork. I'm telling you, it's just very serene in here, you know? This is the other half of my room. Literally, there's going to be nothing else in here. I still have my Proform bike, even though it doesn't fit in here. I'm trying to get my building to put it in the gym just so I'll let other people use it. And that way I kind of like store it there and can still use it and don't have to get rid of it and can actually access my closet. Because right now I have to like lift it <laughs> and move it to get into, you know, over here. I also just have this little like cow print stool. It doesn't really go there, but I don't have anywhere else to put it and it's still in good condition. It's from like six years ago and I'm just thinking like, if I do move, maybe I could use it. I don't know, I'm hoarding it. The thing I did buy that's new is this armoire. It matches the entryway cabinet they're the same collection it's from living spaces and honestly i ordered it from them because they did same day delivery and i just needed something to put stuff when i moved in and then i ended up liking it so much i got the entryway one so this is kind of like where i store all my back stock like i have wipes toilet paper cleaning laundry stuff and then like backup makeup towels extra bedding stuff so kind of like a linen closet because there's no coat closet or linen closet here if you're wondering this i'm just storing my friend's birthday gift and uh my daughter's father father's day gift up there so my daughter doesn't get it and open it <laughs> if i move you a little over you can actually kind of see my closets they're not that neat so i don't want to like <laughs> show them too much um yeah just imagine a clean closet in there and that's exactly what it looks like Ooh, wait i forgot to show you my bathroom it's not too interesting maybe a little bit i'll show it to you i like to see people's bathrooms let's do that here we are this is what's on my counter at the moment i try to keep it really clear i just have this is from cb2 this is just a volspa candle my toothpaste, toothbrush, soap, and I actually have not tried this yet. It was just sent to me. So let me know if you guys like that. Um, this is gonna be a mess. You know, I try, I really try to keep it organized, but this is just what this is gonna look like forever. And then, and then you guessed it, a mess. Yep, my trash can is from Target. I think it's really cute. I always keep wipes on top of my toilet. Not probably for what you're thinking. I swear, every time I do bath time, there's a secret potty that just magically happened, and I always have to, like, use it last minute. And then bath stuff. This is what I'm currently using, if you want to be nosy. Uh, also, what currently Arrow is using. That is pretty much everything. A towel. And that is everything. We have literally two minutes to spare. My daughter will be back from the park with the nanny and then I got to kick in to mom mode. So I'm glad we got this video done in one day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it wasn't too shaky as I was filming it. I'm like, wow, I'm naturally like high anxiety. So if you're pregnant, I'm sorry if I made you seasick from this video. I tried really hard to be a DP, director of photography on this shoot and I don't know. Let me know how I did down below. If I missed anything that you wanted to know about, check the description. I'm going to try to link for everything. If not, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. If you have any interior design advice, I would love it because other than wall decals, <laughs> I don't really do a ton of stuff and fake plants. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. It helps out my channel a lot and I will see you guys next Monday. Bye! Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel